my friends. Listen, uh, recently there was a video uh, that popped up in my YouTube recommendation from a history channel about a war cemetery, about the only German war cemetery in the Netherlands. And because it's not uh, far from where I live, I thought, uh, let's go there and have a look. Uh, maybe I can learn something and uh, make an interesting video of it. So, uh, in 400 meters, turn left onto Wedeby. Let's go there. See you there. Deutscher Soldatenfriedhof Eiselstein. Iselstein, maybe, because here it's a place where uh, the Dutch people speak dialect. It's wonderful autumn weather. So we're entering here, the place. A long lane of beautiful trees. Autumn weather. And we arrive at the open place. All the graves. Wow, incredible. Look how big, how big. This is Iselstein. Iselstein. The soldiers' graves are great preachers of peace. Albert Schweitzer, a quote of Albert Schweitzer. symbol of hope and uh, peace. Can you imagine all those young men who died on the battlefield? This makes history and it's so dramatic what happened in those times in the Second World War, also in the First World War. Just uh, at the entrance here, there are graves of the First World War. You can see here, uh, 2018, he died just after the war finished. Adolf Degel, 2018. All people with a name here. Herman Kurde. So unknown soldiers here.
Lothar Rapp or Obergrenadier. No, I don't know what I don't know what it means exactly. Here is Johann Listel, Gefreiter, ST Sergeant, or no, Biedermann. So maybe you have uh, seen uh, the other video of the German cemetery which I made in uh, Belarus. The graves here, there's for each grave there's a cross, so it's really, really impressive. When you look uh, over this whole field, 30,000, more than 30,000 crosses. In Belarus it's the same amount of, uh, of soldiers that are buried, also a bit more than 30,000. But uh, they were placed in uh, just squares without uh, crosses. Uh, the problem with these crosses is that uh, I think uh, sometimes it, it costs uh, in maintenance. Uh, some people can come, they don't like the German and they will uh, they will destroy a cross, a, a grave, just because they, they don't think about the future. What is past is past, of course. What happens uh, we cannot change. But for the future, for the future, we ne need to build a new world, a new country, a new Europe, uh, where Germans that live uh, 10 kilometers farther, the other side of the border, and Dutch people here can live in peace. Uh, I think that's the message of uh, such of such a cemetery where the dead, those who died here, often it were young people who could not do else than uh, go to the army and follow the instructions, uh, the orders of their uh, of the bad people that were at the top of uh, of the country at that time. Most people here are just, I think, uh, no, just uh, wanted to live in peace. So that's my take <laughs> on this, uh, this cemetery. And what I find uh, moving is that sometimes, yes, you, you just see a flower, a bouquet, next to a grave here Joseph Giesen maybe some family member who remembers his uh, grand grandfather grand uncle and has questions about it of course would uh, of course everyone here uh, would have preferred uh, not to die and to continue to live. Siegfried Downhofer. Franz Würzel. Maybe if you know someone who have a family member in this cemetery you can tell you can tell the story because it will always serve for the future
So I'm in the middle of the cemetery here, the central place. There are uh, bells there with the names of uh, soldiers or officers that died also. It plays uh, regularly. And here is the uh, yes, the central cross, central place of the cemetery. And it says that uh, there are 31,585 German soldiers who rest here. Huge, a huge place. Also some uh, common graves here in the central lane. And I'm wondering if yeah, all those people have their story. Uh, who can tell them? Who can tell those stories? Bad stories or good stories? In the past, I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, what we want is that we learn something uh, to have a better future. So if you come to this cemetery and you want to, you have a family member, uh, you want to leave a flower, something, uh, you can come. At the entrance, you have this. You put your flowers in and uh, you put it on the grave, on the cross. Uh, you can hang it uh, with this. Uh... Very practical. Yeah. I'm gonna put it back. So this is the end of my visit here, it was uh, really impressive, uh, so many crosses, uh, names on the graves, imagine all those people, all, the, all those crosses are real people, it will fill a complete stadium, 30,000 people, uh, today they are dead, what did they do, what they did, did they do on earth? Good things, sure, bad things also. Well, uh, thought to, yeah, the food to, to thought and to, uh, to ponder about. Um, I learned something. I will post a video. I hope uh, you can also learn something and Tell me uh, about your opinion uh, in the comment section, uh, feel free. And uh, rest me to say bye bye, till the next time.